Welcome back everyone, Twish is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. We're going to be taking an early look at their upcoming New York Comic Con 2024 exclusive based off a deleted scene from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. We have the one, the only, Kevin Eastman as an ultimate action figure. Now, in true NECA fashion, it has the box with the flappy opening bits on one side. You get a nice photo of the figure on the other. Well, you get to see the contents of said packaging. And I love the winks and the nods that this packaging provides. It is based off a New York City dumpster, but you can see things like the foot stinks which I totally appreciate. And Danny was here along with a graffitied Ninja Turtle face. On the back side of the packaging, you will get several photos of this action figure in action with all his various accessories. This figure has a lot of great accessories. Be prepared. This is very cool. On the bottom of the packaging, you get to see everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So thank you very much for that. And like I said, this is a New York Comic Con 2024 exclusive. You can pick it up on the con floor at the NECA booth or as of September 25th through the 27th, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. You can head over to the NECAstore.com and grab one for yourself. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new New York Comic Con 2024 exclusive from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Kevin Eastman, the ultimate action figure by NECA Toys. And of course, here is Mr. Eastman all out of the packaging with all his accessories. And like I said, this is a very cool, interesting looking convention exclusive, that's for sure. Now, for those of you unfamiliar in the old original TMNT movie, this was a deleted scene. Kevin Eastman is supposed to make a cameo. He's supposed to play Garbage Man. He comes with a garbage bag. It sits upright. It's very cool. It's got squishy material in there. And yes, it's exactly what it looks like. It's a garbage bag, which... They totally have achieved here. He does hold said garbage bag if you want to display him in this fashion. So that's good at but least. But for me, it's really the pencils and the clipboard with the sketches of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that really solidifies this as a very fun figure. You get four pencils. Don't lose them. They're very teeny tiny. He holds everything beautifully that's what I want to see for a Kevin Eastman figure. But this right here, and I'm going to tell you right now, don't let me spoil this for you. On the front, Lairdman Island, New York City, this is not the spoiler. So I'm going to give you a couple seconds here to click off because I really want you to go to New York Comic Con or get the figure in hand, open up the box and discover this for yourself. So ready? You still got time to leave. Three, two, one. Okay, basically, you've had enough time. This is what it is. So Lairdman Island on one side, and then when you flip it over, which is just the coolest thing ever, you have the placard that they recently installed in Dover, New Hampshire, as the birthplace of Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird's TMNT. This is a beautiful recreation. It's awesome. One day, I hope to go to Dover, New Hampshire and see this for myself, but this will do in the meantime, so you have 28 Union Street, Dover, New Hampshire. It goes across the top. 1984, birthplace of Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got the silhouette of the turtles. And then as you kind of turn it right here, it says the birthplace of Mirage Studios. So through and through, as a beautiful love letter to Kevin Eastman, and definitely we now need Peter Laird, so we got to make that happen too. But as far as Kevin's figure is concerned, great accessories, a great wink and a nod to a deleted scene. It's just a lot of fun. They absolutely nailed this. And oh yeah, there is an action figure that we need to talk about as well. And I think what NECA has really done here is capture the look of the 80s, 90s Kevin Eastman. I love the hair, the mustache, that is a lot of fun. I think that they really, 
You could tell NECA Toys has a lot of fun with this line, and we're definitely having a lot of fun collecting it. It says Kevin right there on his name tag, which is very cool. You have his open collared shirt, which has a great pattern. It goes along the sleeves. The rest of the Garbage Man uniform down to the feet. Nicely painted shoes, peg holes on the bottom. It's a very simplistic figure, but it really does the trick in bringing Kevin Eastman into the movie line, and they've definitely achieved that in spades. Now, again, the articulation is not going to be mind-blowingly crazy. It does enough to get him into all those Kevin Eastman poses that I'm sure that you're going to want to pose him in. Plenty of articulation in the elbows, which are single-jointed. They will spin. You got some wrist articulation, so he can get to drawing forever and ever on your toy shelf if you so choose. You got a little bit of a waist to him. He will spin and sort of rock. The legs will kick out. You have single-jointed knees. The knees will spin left and right, and then down to the shoes, up, down, left, and right. And I thought that was pretty cool. As it kind of dip the shoes down, you can see more of the laces. It's just cool the detail that NECA Toys goes into. It's refreshing. And I have to say, at all the figures we've looked at recently, this is pretty darn cool. But me thinks that if you're going for this guy on your shelf, this is definitely going to be the money shot, especially for photographers out there having all the turtle bros around as he's sketching each and every one of them. That is just so cool. It's great to be able to bring this to life on your shelf. And Within this year, not only have we now gotten Kevin Eastman as an action figure, we also got Jack Kirby as an action figure. So if you know the history of Eastman and Laird and Jack Kirby, this is a great melding on your toy shelf. My God, have action figures really become amazing. This is so much fun. So that is going to wrap it up for my quick look at some of the brand new NECA Toys NYCC 2024 exclusives. And again, thank you to my friends over at NECA for sending these out for the purposes of this video. There will also be a t-shirt. The t-shirts weren't ready in time for this video, but rest assured they will be ready come New York Comic Con in October. How do you get these again? In case you missed it, you can go to New York Comic Con, go to the NECA booth and pick these up for yourself, or you can head over to the NECAstore.com, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. East, and every single day it resets, it goes until supplies run out. So hopefully, if you want any of these, you'll be able to pick them up easy peasy. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything NYCC 2024. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, yes, I will be attending New York Comic Con 2024 this year. It's my first NYCC, and I'm very excited. Should be a blast. And when it is, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.